today marks four months of my newest obsession, which is archery. And we're gonna see how much progress we've made and if you're actually able to get good in that amount of time. Mind you, I do spend lots of time shooting and I've spent a lot of money on archery. Um, we are currently rocking the RX-8. And uh, as you guys can see, we got some different strings on here. If you guys want like a bow build breakdown and like what I think, if I think this is worth it, if you should go out and, you know, spend the money on something crazy like this, you know, we'll bring you one of those. But we're going to shoot a handful of targets. Now, the last time we came here for a YouTube video, I was not shooting that good. I don't know what the YouTube video showed because I, I definitely did not show all the misses and all that. But we were not shooting very good. Like, it was pretty rough. So we're going to see today. We're going to walk through the course. Get a sweat on because it's hot here in Texas. And just see how, how how we do. I mean, this has been my goal since I got into it that I wanted to get really good. And obviously it's just a time battle and me shooting a good bit. We'll see if it's uh, made a difference or if I'm just still ass and I spent all this money. Alrighty, we're gonna start off kind of wild here. We're gonna go uh, 44 yards through the, through the woods and all this other shit. We got through the trees. We got the bear down there. That's where I wanted it, but we need that to the left. I put it right behind his shoulder. But I just realized that's not where the fucking circle thing is. Okay. Not the worst, but to be fair, where I aimed every time was different. So that's that's decent. I mean, I think that's a dead a dead bear. Not a great grouping, but where it's only up from here. Also, if you guys are in the DFW area, this is Cinnamon Creek Ramps. They have a processing plant. They also have a pro shop. That's where I bought my bow. Really knowledgeable guys over there. And then they have a pretty dope outdoor course. So we'll be shooting couple different parts of the course today kind of bouncing around yeah I mean not great oh I did get it right here I'm fine with that warm up you know your first shot I heard this from Levi Morgan I didn't I didn't make this up because I don't know jack shit uh, your first shot tells you a lot about where you're at because when you're hunting you don't get a warm-up you're just out there and you're shooting we got motherfucking Wakanda Forever down here at 38 yards. We're gonna see. Now, if you guys have any form tips, drop them down below. I'm no expert, so um, I got no ego in this. I know I, I got a lot of improvement to make. I can't even see where I fucking hit, I'm gonna be honest. I think I was to the left. I think I stacked it. I stack them? Fuck. Yeah, I was trying to go to the right. It's really, I'm, this little light shit. I mean, it's just something, something new for me to work on. Um, yeah, bro, I don't know how these dudes be shooting the 12s and all that shit. I mean, these are all, just, I'm gonna be honest, like, I can't see these down here. I thought here was center. I'm trying to shoot center mass of here, so. Not terrible. We're still still warming up a bit, but still, all all these shots are where they need to be. I've been shooting about four months now, and I don't know if I've gone the traditional route of like practicing. I really like shooting really far, so I spent lots of time shooting really far, and then taking that. Oh damn! Watch out for the fucking fresh pie. The fuck taking that like information because obviously you shoot far and it amplifies your mistakes right you shoot 20 yards and you're off by this much you move to 70 yards now you're off by like that much so i've been taking that and kind of what you guys have been leaving me as far as tips and stuff like that kind of squeezing through the trigger uh controlling my shot you know some joe turner type stuff and it, i think i'm gotten a lot better like i'm not no levi morgan or, or one of them but I'm very confident shooting pretty far. Obviously shooting an animal is a little different. I don't even know. Can you see the target for right now? Yep. All right, 38 yards. Oh. 
They went through the fucking thing. Bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it totally blasted through the target. Bro, I would not have shot this thing. As you guys can see, um, this target has seen far better days. And that's how you know that was a good shot. Because it fucking just passed right through. But I got to find my arrow. Uh... Oh, here it is. No, please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. It doesn't look like it's cracked. We've only shot a little bit, and now we are at 70 yards through the fucking woods. I'm going to shoot a lighted. Let's see if uh, you guys are able to see it a little bit better. I think I've gotten pretty good. We're going to shoot another one to see. Were you able to kind of track that? I think I'm slightly high. I'm to the left. Fuck. I knew that one got away from me. That's one thing I still need to work on. I can tell when I get shaky sometimes, and I'll go through and shoot, and I already know that it's going to be a bad shot, but I still, for some reason, shoot it anyways. Like, in actuality, what I should have done right there, calm down, no need to shoot, take your time, nice and slow, and kind of, like, regroup. Because, like, if that was an animal right there, bro, I just, I just wounded an animal. I think I put it, it should be, if I was right, it should be low, uh, a low long shot for the heart. I think I was to the left again, though. All right, we're going to, we're going to shoot again. I need to be there. Let's see. This will be the test. I'm only going to shoot two. Okay. All right, let's see if we're ass. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Are we good? Or do we need to do some improvements? I don't think there's any targets down there. Let's see. But yeah, that's definitely like those first shots. First, yeah. See, it's, it's crazy how much that like, when you just really focus in, now that I've gotten some of the basics down, like, that's, bro, that's a, what, a two inch group at 70 yards, like through the woods, like, that's, I, that's, that to me is good shooting. Like that gives me confidence that I can shoot something from that far. But what I lacked on the earlier shots was me like kind of doing too much yapping and I enough like, okay, remember my process, you know, get anchored in, slowly pull, and I like 70 yards. I couldn't do that before. Last time you guys see me shoot, I couldn't shoot like that. That's two shots. That's like, that's a two inch group at 70 yards. It's really hard to be here because when you're looking, this is where the tree is, is like right here at that angle, way down there. Cause we're, psh, it's hard to get the depth perception, but we're fucking through that little gap down there. But we are getting better. All right, we are back where we started. I think we'll check the yardage. Okay, we're at 50 is right here, or 50, 45 is right here. So let's see. Now, where I need to hit is like the back leg in line with that. So let's see how we do. <laughs> Can you zoom in on that? And you can keep on it, man. Because I'm going to put this other one right on top of it. Oh, it was low. All right, we're going to split the difference. That one wasn't good. All right, let's slow the fuck down. Remember who the fuck we are. Improvement. See, I'm telling you, bro. That's I get I get fucking worked up, bro. Just want to fucking, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then I end up shooting like shit. It's like a big thing too. Like when you're shooting animals and stuff, calming the fuck down. Also, we might have a hog hunt here coming up, cause uh, your boy still hasn't got a hog. Ah, oh, dude, I I can't figure this target. Like seeing this thing way down here, like that's a great grouping, but like. 
because I'm at this angle trying to split it. We're just slightly to the left. I'm happy with it. It's a good grouping. So if you guys are newer to archery or, or not as new, one thing that I've learned in almost, uh, in the sense, speed running archery, right? Because of uh, the position that I'm in, I'm able to spend more time on archery than someone, you know, who has to go work a regular nine to five. So shout out to you guys for that. But is this is so personalized to like you and like what you like best. And the one thing that I did and I still do, and I, but I, one thing that I've done is I've looked at people who are much better than me that I want to be as good as, or I aspire to be as good as, and looked at their setup, and there's a reason, right? So Levi Morgan's big on a giant front stabilizer. I've seen campaigns, a giant front stabilizer, even though yes, it is more inconvenient, but you're far more accurate. What else do both these guys have is the rear stabilizer. Obviously you don't need all the little bells and whistles, the dial sight, but I'm seeing all these people who are far better. There's a reason that they're doing it. Every one of my campaigns that I've seen who I want to be as good as uses, you know, the thumb release. So I went out and got a thumb release and I love it so much more than the trigger release. I can feel that I'm a lot more accurate with it. I noticed a change instantly, but maybe you go out, maybe you don't like, you know, a front stabilizer, or maybe you don't need the rear weight on, you know, a back stabilizer. You don't want to shoot with your quiver on, you know, you just, you just kind of pick and choose. It's a lot of trial and error at the end of the day. You get better by shooting a shit ton. This shit is crazy grown in though. Last time I was here, it did not look like this. So I don't know how how well we'll be able to shoot. We might not be able to do any far bombs, which sucks. You good? We got a little piggy down here. Now, I'm probably gonna be going hog hunting rather soon. So it's good to get some, some reps on a hog. They're small targets. But this right here is 37 yards. That's how far my ground blind is to my feeder on the deer lease, which I gotta give you guys an update on that. So let's see, first shot on Mr. Piggy Piggy. Damn, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if you guys were able to see that through the camera. I could not find the target. And what I thought was the target definitely was not. But now I know I gotta be to the right. Now we'll be good. Well, at least we went out on a perfect shot. On the outside of the, the small circle, I'll take that though, especially for having a terrible time identifying the target. This is something that I've also been trying to do a little bit more. I heard Kim Haynes talk about it, is, is putting yourself in weird situations. So I'm gonna shoot this ram here about 37 yards. I'm gonna be on my knees. Like if you were stalking in and you see the animal, you're not gonna then go stand up. So. You gotta practice drawing low profile and shooting low profile. Damn, someone's getting tired. That was really bad. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea where that hit. Hey, last time we came here, Eddie, how many arrows did I lose? Did I lose some arrows? Almost out of pack. Maybe, probably like four. I lost four arrows from missing. Yeah. Yeah. Last time we came here, which we'll put the date on here, and we'll, we'll flash the YouTube video. You guys can go back and watch it, and see kind of the progress that we've made. Um, I mean, I'm happy with it. I'm proud. I know when I'm when I'm on, like, I think I'm really, really fucking good. I just shut my mouth and focus. So we're gonna shoot a couple more back here. I had some money targets that were on the other side of this course, but now that the fucking vegetation's busting, I don't know how well we'll be able to shoot them. If I remember correctly, we're gonna see when I get down there. Cause I've shot, I've obviously shot here before. Is that this one is farther to the right than we remember? So I think that shot is perfect. I'm gonna try to put the other two on top of it, but we'll see. Okay, last one. All right, let's go see if I was wrong or if I was right. A decent grouping, but I basically shot that first one and I thought I was dead center, so it was far to the left. So overall, the accuracy was definitely off, but as far as grouping, like 
that's pretty pretty solid tarp came off it's hot as shit you know your boy don't want no farmer's tan we're gonna have eddie pick out a target i think we got probably three more targets here that are actually usable i mean we could even fucking launch some three shots my grouping is good and on point i'm safe if it's off i'm gonna do a 300 giveaway uh, gift card for chase your dreams and maybe even I might add a Rise gift card in there, or maybe even a Young LA gift card. So we're going to kind of scope out these targets and see. So we got the Doe down there. Um, that's not too bad. And we could shoot that pretty decently far. All right, Eddie, what do you think? Hit the elk since we want to hunt an elk. That is true. We're trying to go on our first elk hunt this year. So if you guys got any tips, please drop them down below. Okay, Eddie, I'm just going to start walking back, and you tell me when. And he's gonna have me like run all the way to the trees. Right, so. right, there. right here? Yeah, the right Alright, let's see what the distance is. <laughs> Wait, why is that? Is that really? 52 yards. Alright. Three shots. Oh, I fucked that. <laughs> I don't even need to shoot third one. That arrow, that shot's fucking dog shit. So we did just shoot, but I kind of felt like I was shooting in the dark. So I now have the mental picture of where this thing is. It's kind of weird with it kind of laying down. So we got three shots at 52 yards. It's a good grouping. We passed. A shitty grouping. I owe somebody three hundred dollars. Shot number one is a good shot, which really helps because now I can fucking see where I'm supposed to be aiming. Shot number two is a good shot. <sighs> Comes down to this last arrow. Oh, what the fuck happened? I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what just happened. But now I'm like pissed off because I would have been a really good three shot grouping. Well, I owe somebody $300. So you guys comment down below that you made it to this part of the video. And then uh, tarp off down below and we'll see. Uh, we'll pick one of you guys to win. But we got a couple more clips that we gotta get. Well, the last time we came here, we lost four arrows. As you can see, we lost an arrow. <laughs> we'll put the clip in. Finishing up, I'm like, oh, this will be really funny if I do this clip for YouTube. That was kind of where we, we double filmed. And uh, it bounced off the head. It didn't really bounce off. I shot to the left, and so it skimmed the head of the bear and literally just, like, exploded. And this was all that we were able to find. So took an L on that. But overall, I think I've improved a lot. I know in the grand scheme of things, I'm probably still ass, but I'd like to think that I am a, a pretty good archer. I'm at least average by now, and we're just getting started. We haven't been doing this that long. So if you guys like the video, man, drop a comment down below. Also, make sure that you guys are subscribing and liking. Um, if this video gets 5,000 views, I will double the giveaway, and I will get some other of my sponsors to kind of throw in on it. And you would only know that if you made it this far, so... Only for the real ones. But to so leave a comment down below, tarp off to be entered for the giveaway. And as always, it's been real. It's been true. It's your boy Jay Lane. Go chase your motherfucking dreams. Oh.